We're also learning more tonight about a frightening animal attack in a local community. A 12 year old boy is forced to undergo rabies treatments after being bitten by an aggressive wild animal outside his home. And now we're hearing from the boy and his family for the first time as animal control tries to track down the creature responsible. Iowa to Sue's reporter Sean Daly joins us now live from Rehoboth with the Southeastern Massachusetts Mobile Newsroom. Talk about a scary situation that came out of nowhere. A dangerous fisher cat attacked a young boy here in his own backyard in Rehoboth. An animal control officer setting a trap here in Rehoboth after a fisher cat bit a young boy and got away. The police got the call shortly after nine last night. 12 year old Wes Brown was in trouble. And I saw something that looked like my cat at first because it was really dark out and then I saw the ears and so I started to go inside and then it attacked me on the leg and then I tried to hit it off of my hand but it got me in the hand and then I shut the door on its head twice. And what were you thinking <laughs> amid all of this? Well, it was pretty scary because it was dark out, so I couldn't exactly see it perfectly. And then my wife, it came, it came back at my wife, and she had to throw a couple tools that were handy at it. So uh, it, it was definitely aggressive. Don't know if it was rabid, but you know he's been, he's being treated for rabies. The teeth on top teeth, and then the bottom teeth, and then the little teeth. The Fisher cat bit Wes Brown's left leg and a finger on his right hand. He got five rabies shots at Hasbro Children's Hospital with four more shots to come over the next three weeks. You're going on adrenaline. You just want to help your, your baby. <laughs> Sorry, I know he doesn't want to hear that at that age, but that's what moms think. And, you know, the same with my best friend. That's his godmother trying to, like, we were both, we were all screaming, throwing things at it. He trying to just get it away. Throwing things at it is right. Luckily, there were some serious tools nearby, and Wes's mother was not shy. That's new at 6. Live in Rehoboth with the Southeastern Massachusetts Mobile Newsroom, Sean Daly, Eyewitness News.